an incident one too many begging for answers as to why these attacks continue, worsening the ugly condition being experienced by three communities in Kajuru local government area of Kaduna State. On Sunday, bandits brazenly attacked three communities of Nguanfada, Nguanturawa and Nguan Makama, all in Kufana district, including two worship centers. In the process, three people were killed, while 36 persons were abducted, leaving behind a deserted community. They came on bike, and there were a lot of them on bike that came to that particular place. So when they came, some of them were shooting, and some were trying to put the people together so that they should be able to take them to. When they discovered that their bike would not be sufficient to take those that they have kidnapped, they decided to snatch some bikes, some bikes from the villagers again, about 10 bikes or more than 10. They used the same bike again and packed those people that were being kidnapped with them. And to those that tried to repel the attacks, not essentially the men, they got killed. A troubling situation that informs this visit by the authorities led by the Commissioner for Internal Security and the Commissioner of Police. At this meeting, the chairman of Kajuru local government area suggests some measures to aid security in the area. We are lacking access road, of which, if there's anything, our security agents can always reach out immediately. This emergency meeting, according to state officials, is to build confidence and synergy towards finding a lasting solution to the lingering security problem. We need your cooperation. Uh, security issue is not one-way traffic. It is a two-way uh, traffic team. Uh, we need to come together. We need to understand ourselves. We need to be communicating. And uh, we need to appreciate the sacrifices of our security uh, agencies. In the next couple of days, the area commander will be around here. I will send him here to interface with you people on how best to even take our security to the next uh, level. It is clear from this interaction with the locals here that condolences and assurances are no longer enough. But what is needed is urgent action by putting more boots on the ground, especially in vulnerable communities, and ensuring that the perpetrators of these crimes are punished.